Hey Keto fam, Keto Kelly just getting her done coming. Today is Monday, July the 9th, I believe. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give you a little bit of a different format since I have a new tripod and I'm so excited. Anywho, all right, so I'm doing a, a few things today and I want to give you a little rundown of what I'm doing. In this crock pot here, I have a pork shoulder with minced onion, minced garlic, cumin, pepper, salt, a little bit of, let me find it, not a lot because I'm, I'm sketchy on the ingredients and because we all know being keto, we have to really be aware of our ingredients. But I have some of this uh, McCormick's Applewood Rub. I didn't use a lot, I just did enough to give it a, that, you know, barbecue flavor. I added a little bit of chili powder and some ground cumin. And over here, let me move you, right here I have a pot roast that I'm just going to do. Uh, just has salt, pepper on the top of the pot roast. In the, in the liquid in the bottom I have some beef base, about two tablespoons of beef base. This is about four cups of water maybe in the bottom of this. It's a big roaster, it's the only size I have. It's a pretty small um, pot roast, but it's okay. I uh, put in the rest of the bay leaves that I had. There were probably two whole ones and a bunch of chopped up ones in there. I also have minced garlic, minced onion, salt and pepper in the in the mix. And I have about three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce in there. And that's going to go in the oven in a little bit. So I'm going to set this off to the side. And can you guess what I'm going to make? I have two... I've pre-made two fat head pizza doughs, and I'm going to do a couple of fat head pizzas today, um, two different kinds. I'm going to do a meatball, Parmesan meatball or meatball marinara uh, pizza, and these are the pre-made ones. They're pretty good. They're, they taste like your pre-made meatballs, but if you wanted to make your own meatballs, just follow a regular meatball recipe, but instead of using breadcrumbs just use um, Parmesan cheese or, or almond flour or pork rinds whichever one you desire but I really like the uh, Parmesan cheese in place of the breadcrumbs these are one carb per meatball they are not ideal again it's what I had on hand so I'm going to use it so keto police get off my back just kidding and I'm also going to use these big pepperonis that I have. I'm going to make just make a pepperoni pizza. Um, so for this one here, I'm going to go ahead and do my pepperoni pizza on this one. I got my oven set for 400 degrees. This is a quarter of a cup of sauce on that one. I'm going to do these one at a time because I only have one silicone mat. So that's what I'm going to use. Actually, I can use this. I'm going to spread this around. I don't like to use a lot of the sauce because it does make the, the crust a little soggy. So, I mean, you really don't need a lot of sauce anyway. I haven't made my sauce in a, own sauce in a long time. I'm waiting to get like a, a... I do have basil, I believe, in this. Some of that semi-dry basil I could use. But let's go ahead and put the sauce on. Right here I have some of this shredded Parmesan cheese that I'm going to use. I get it from my local grocery store. It's called Food Lion. Some of you in the area or in the media area may have a Food Lion uh, near you. So I'm going to put some of this Parmesan cheese down. And this is just straight Parmesan cheese, no added fillers. I don't know if I want to make... I'm going to make this one my pepperoni. And you, we can uh, add up all the, oh my gosh, hold on. You can add up all the uh, macros for this and, you know, divide it by however many slices of pizza you end up doing. So I'm going to go ahead and load this down with these pepperonis. It's not going to take much because they're so big. So... Why do I always sneeze when I cook? Hold on, guys. I don't know who that is trying to call me. 
So I'm going to go ahead and round these around. You know what, let's overlap them a little bit so we can get a little bit more on there. And just cover the entire pizza. And you can find the fathead pizza anywhere out there. I do mine slightly different. Um, I do not add, I do not add uh, cream cheese to mine. And I got a little bit of mozzarella we're going to go ahead and put on the top of this. Because the crust is made from mozzarella, so you don't really want to put too much cheese. Plus, you got the Parmesan cheese underneath. So, let me back you guys up a little bit. My cheese just fell on the floor. None spilled. Thank goodness, because that's all I have thought out. Let's go ahead and put this in the oven. We'll keep it in there just like that for uh, probably a few minutes on the bottom. And then what I'll do is I'll hit the top with the broiler. So, let's go ahead and mix this one out. I'm, not, I'm just going to go ahead and slide this one onto the sheet tray when it, the other one comes out. I have a pizza pan I can put that on. So, we're going to do the same thing on this one. And I'm certain I'm not going to use all those meatballs. Pretty sure about it. It's, it's a lot. But again, each one is one carb per meatball. And I have cut them in half. Parmesan cheese. I want to do a little bit more Parmesan on this one because it's more of the marinara slash, you know, way to go. So we're going to do a little bit more on that one. And let's start assembling some of the meatballs. I'll count out how many halves I got in here. Divide it by two. See how many whole ones I end up with. Do 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 do. All right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18. So, that would be 9. So, we would divide that, or times that times the, um, for 6, so it's actually 1 and a half servings. So, it's actually 9 grams of carbohydrates on this, as far as the meatballs go. And if you eat the whole pizza, well, you need to be checked. Just check. Just kidding, because I've eaten a whole one myself. So, let's go ahead and add some. I can set this back down here so you guys can see. I'm going to put some mozzarella. This one might be pretty good, guys. This is all the mozzarella. I freeze my mozzarella. I get a big old bag from Walmart. And I have a food saver, so I break it up and I freeze it. Hold on, guys. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Um, the hubby was calling, and um, back to what we were doing. I went ahead and grabbed the basil out of my fridge, and I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that on top of this pizza. All right. We're going to set this aside, and and I guess I figured I was just going to go ahead and do that pot roast since I have my oven on anyway, so I'll just go ahead and do the pot roast. All right, let me back you up a little bit and pull this, this one out, see how it looks. See, we're cooking up real nice right there. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the broiler. I got the rack a little bit below the mid point of the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and, and hit it on high, hit the broiler on high, and you guys, I love this damn tripod. Okay, so let's come back to this. Now that we've got that all seasoned, it has been turned on. It is on low, 
you go ahead and seal that up that's going to go all night so tomorrow you think i'd clean that up so tomorrow that will be good to go i'll bring uh, a video of that to you tomorrow and uh show you the finished product of that so all right guys hang on real quick i'm going to go ahead and uh, keep an eye on this pizza in here, then I'm going to put the meatball one in there, and then I'll show you how everything looks after that. Okay, guys, I am back. So, here, here is the pizza with the pepperonis. And I just pulled the meatball one out. It does get a, it's got a little crispy around the edges, but to me, that's no big deal. So... Sorry for the interruption, that was the hubby calling. Ooh, I can't have you on that side. Let me bring you around this side. So that was the hubby calling, and whew, so hopefully I can add these two together. Um, let me turn my oven back on so I can put my pot roast in there. So I want to give a quick shout out to a friend of mine who has um, started doing keto, and she reached out to me for some advice. I love her so much. Jen, welcome to the keto community. So hopefully you guys can go ahead and throw, and I just had spittle. It didn't land on the food though. Anyway, all right guys, I will come in on Thursday, maybe. That was the sister-in-law, just see her go by. <laughs> You're in my vlog now. <laughs> anyway, so I'll see you on Thursday, guys. I got a real special meal for you on Thursday. All right guys, take care and I'll see you in a few days.